Welcome back to my anti-book club, the uh, podcast where we, uh, we talk about books so you don't have to read them. Is that really what we do? I really hope people do read them. Um, what I thought I would do today is talk about a book that is certainly in the news at the moment, and that's a book called Snow Crash uh, by Neil Stevenson. Um, you, you may have read it. Uh, I hope you have. Uh, I hope you read it again. I read it a long time ago and I've read it again recently. But the book is important because it, it is the book uh, where the term the metaverse was uh, introduced. So Neil Stevenson's Snow Crash is the book where the metaverse is there. And of course, that's the reason I read it. Uh, everyone's been talking about the metaverse since uh, Mark Zuckerberg did his terrible video about what the future was going to look like. And uh, like a good academic, I, I wanted to go back and reread uh, the, the foundation stories from which some of this comes from. So um, I did, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Although it's a dark and dystopian book, it is one I really do recommend. Uh, the story is set in the future, uh, the not too distant future, but it's a story in which uh, a virtual reality place has been created, uh, which is called the metaverse. And uh, we actually need to understand that there are two worlds that have been created here, the one inside the metaverse and the one outside, and they're both pretty bad news. The one outside has been taken over by large corporations and um, uh, it, there are no countries anymore and, and governments have been privatized and uh, it, instead, of, uh, instead of the sort of world we live in today, um, there are a few selected brands which run everything. Uh, it's the story about a, a pizza delivery guy. Uh, that's he's the he's the hero in it. Um, in fact, he's called hero, uh, which is which is useful. But he's a pizza delivery guy by day, and then the rest of the time he's a hacker, and he's a hacker who spends his time both living in the metaverse um, and also uh, actually building parts of the metaverse. The metaverse, by the way, just so you understand it, is a, a massively long road. Uh, miles and miles long, which even in the software world, it takes some time to travel from one end of the metaverse to the other. But uh, in most of the action takes place in the middle of the metaverse, where there's a city and all the things that we might have seen in Second Life or some of the games or some of the films that you might have might have seen. Um, I, I really liked the book because of the, the rich storytelling. It's, it's fantastic to see that. Uh, but also there are lots of takeaways. Um, I think if I am reading anything, what I'm looking for is lessons and connections. Uh, the connections in the snow crash are amazing. Um, we can see that if you just pushed a little bit, the power of big corporations, the Facebooks, the Googles, the Amazons of the world, maybe we'd get to this dark dystopian future. And if only we were to um, think about how we might spend our time outside the ugly world in the metaverse, well, yes, you know, we'd go out and buy land and we'd build a house and do all the things that people are now doing in what we call the metaverse. But would we be any happier? And, and I suppose that's one of the things is, I think we have some choices and what we have to do is to build a world that's better than the one described in Snow Crash. Um, there's another thing that amazes me because the central idea of Snow Crash is the existence of a pandemic. The pandemic is actually slightly different from ours. It is a virus, it's not COVID-19, it is a virus, but it's a virus that can infect people in both the real world and in the metaverse. Uh, it's a little bit like looking at a QR code and that QR code scrambles your brain and it scrambles your brain in the metaverse, but it also scrambles your brain outside in the real world. It's a really dark, dark book, but uh, very good from that point of view. Uh, I suppose the final thing that I would um, ask people to, to think about, whether you've read the book or whether you're going to read the book or not, is to think about what the purpose of a book like this is. This is not a prediction of the future. This is about showing you a possible future 
I think, so that we can decide to reject it. I'm super excited by the idea of an open, transparent, um, augmented reality world, which we might occupy in the future. I think medicine might be better. I'm sure education might be better. Maybe it would help us with shopping and working and all sorts of other things. And play and storytelling, they're definitely going to get better. That's not the world of Snow Crash. Snow Crash is the dark version of that. And it's the version that has big money behind it. And I think we should reject that. When we step out and read great accounts of the future, that's what we should be doing, making the connections, thinking about what we like and what we don't like, and then empowering ourselves to go and make choices that move us in the direction of a world we like, rather than one that's imposed on us that we're gonna end up hating. So go out and read it. I really recommend it. It's a, it's a bit of a read, it's a bit violent. It's, it's, it does dark mobs and dark forces. I love some of the technology ideas in it. Um, it's fun, go and read it. So what are you thinking about the metaverse and the futures that we are all trying to create? You're going to stumble over the metaverse everywhere you're looking. And, and this is a book which will allow you to go and have a look at one sort of world. Um, what world would you like? Tell us about that in the comments and we'll read them. Uh, tell us about books you've read that describe alternative worlds that might be worth, reading, uh, worth uh, living in instead. Add some comments. We look forward to it.